Whoa, welcome, welcome, welcome to That's Good Sports. I'm Brandon Perna. Thanks for being patient uh, with the uh, live stream schedule. I wanted to schedule the live stream to see if that helped. I needed to test it out. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be talking about the Broncos, Brock Osweiler, quarterbacks, what's happening this weekend against the Patriots, all sorts of... Uh, football stuff uh i took some notes down with this pen so you know i'm serious tonight you know i'm serious because i wrote it on paper says it right here what we're gonna talk about titans tube welcome in uh tyler green if you don't shut the fuck up i'm gonna kick you off this channel so uh let that be noted and uh did brock did Brock play better than Trevor Simeon? So that's the title of this video right now. And the question, the answer to that is no. Brock Osweiler did not play better than Trevor Simeon. They played about the same in terms of not being effective. The real question, the question you should ask yourselves is can Brock Osweiler play better than Trevor Simeon? Can Brock beat the Patriots? Yes, he can. But will he? Maybe. I'll, I'll save my prediction until the prediction episode. But we have seen. We have seen Brock Osweiler beat the Patriots. That's basically the, most, the thing he is most famous for. Is beating the Patriots on Sunday Night Football in Denver, Colorado. I was there. Some of you were there. We know it can be done. But will it? Will it be fucking done? I don't know. FYTB. We need lots of FYTB this week. Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. I wanted to say uh, if, you have, if you're a Tennessee Titans fan, you want to see another YouTube channel that's uh, talking football, Titans Tube. They've been uh, supportive of me, so make sure you check them out. Uh, okay, so from from the game, I'm sorry I haven't gotten up a, a normal review video. It's been a crazy week. I've had a lot on my plate, and that uh, some of it has been food that I've been eating. Uh, I've I've been depressed because of the Broncos, and one way I deal with that is by putting more on my plate and eating more of what I put on my plate. But uh, the line, the offensive line, played worse last week. Uh, we saw him play a little bit better this year. We've seen, seen him have some decent games. The line played worse. I think a big part of that was uh, Ron, Ronald Leary's injury. Uh, his arm injury was pretty serious. I feel like he was playing with, with one arm. You know what I mean? So the line played worse, but they were playing against a very good front in Philadelphia. Brock was under pressure a lot. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to say he can play better because... Uh, I think the line will play better against the Patriots. I don't think their front is as nasty as Philadelphia's is. Um, and also, it was Brock's first game back, right? He hadn't played really any football since the preseason. So, you know, we'll say he's shaken off rust. Us optimistic, optimistic idiot fans, we are going to say one one game was shaking the rust off and Brock can play better. Uh, this weekend against the New England Patriots. Okay. Now, there's also been a lot of hate. A lot of hate for Vance Joseph this week and the coaches. Everybody's saying it's all it's all somebody's fault, right? We, we want to point a finger. We want a simple solution, and it's the quarterback. It's Vance. It's the offensive line. It's the skill players. The defense played bad. It is everybody. Special teams has been bad. The problem is when you're pointing that many fingers, it's a big, it's a big problem. There's a lot of issues right now. A lot of things the Broncos need to fix. Okay, uh, Vance, you're saying somebody just said Vance is to blame for the play calling. Well, I don't think Vance calls plays during the game. Plays during the games. Mike McCoy calls the offensive plays. Uh, Vance, I don't think calls the defensive plays. That's Joe Woods' responsibility. Um, and Vance didn't choose really this coaching staff let's remember this is just really john elway's uh, uh collection of people right now so uh to say it's all vance joseph's fault after being here basically a, a half year uh, halfway through the football season 
I think it's too early to tell. Do on the surface, do I think Vance is showing that he's a great coach? No, obviously the Broncos are playing poorly right now. But I don't think it's fair to say it's all on him. Uh, that there are so many problems to talk about. We could talk for hours about everything that could be better, right? We could. We could talk about a lot of shit, but um, it's not going to get fixed immediately. Oh, man, my light went out. Oh, fuck me. Oh, don't worry. I got another battery. Do I... Hold on. I'll look, I'll look pretty again. I'll look pretty again for you. Ooh, yeah. Okay. So that's, uh, that's kind of what I wanted to say about the coach. I think they deserve some time. Uh, they are dealing with uh, poor play from the quarterback position. I don't care how good of a coach you are. If you're struggling there, it is really hard to overcome. Uh, the line was playing a little better, but they looked bad. The defense looked bad for the first time in three years. Uh, special teams, though, looked better, right? McManus was perfect. Isaiah McKenzie had a, a, a great punt return. Cody Latimer had a nice tackle. And Cody Latimer, I thought, looked better in the receiving game. Brock Osweiler, Cody Latimer have pretty good chemistry together. We've seen that before. So maybe Bro uh, Cody can step up and help the, the receivers that are kind of struggling right now. Is that a long shot? Maybe. But I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to figure out anything that'll fucking work right now. Uh, Brandon Perna Tech Show? Ooh, I don't think you want to see that. Yeah, Chad Kelly, Jake Butt go to IR. I knew they were going to, but I was hoping to God we could see Swag Kelly play. Instead, he looms as a giant mystery, and he's going to be a mystery until 2018. I don't think he's going to save the team, but he could. He could. Uh, running backs combined got less than 20 carries. I know... I know the Eagles have a good front. They are hard to run against, but I don't know. Every win for the Broncos, the running backs have been featured heavily this season. So I think that continues to be a thing. Here's some good news. I'm going to give you a reason to have a little bit of hope for this Patriots game, all right? The Patriots aren't great coming off the bye week, and you think they would be. You think give Bill Belichick some extra time to stew in his own football misery, and he's going to draw up all the plays to kill the team they're playing. But they're they're only 4-3 and three after the bye week. So coming to Denver, a place I think mentally is challenging for the Patriots, a place they've had their ass kicked so many times I can't even count, except for last year when they just won 17-3 and the most boring football game I've ever fucking watched in my life until this year. Uh, but that's, hey, hey, we're going we're gonna to take what we can get. Patriots lose sometimes after the bye. Um, Tom Brady will probably, uh, he will probably be a quarterback for the Patriots this week, I'm assuming. So don't count on not seeing his face. Uh, and the Pats, the Patriots are a team you can run against. The Broncos could have success running the ball Sunday night. God damn it, they need to run the ball. Uh, Brock Osweiler needs to limit the mistakes. He could have had four balls picked in this game, which I bring up. I bring up because, yes, yeah, Simeon, Simeon had interceptions dropped as well. But every time I said something positive about Simeon, somebody would have to say, yeah, but he would have thrown this many. Well, so would have Brock right now, okay? That's... That's just what we have to live with. We have to live with the fact that the quarterbacks are playing really bad football. Um, and if you want to stop the Patriots, it's not just pressure from Von Miller and Shane Ray, Shaq Barrett on the edges, okay? We know we can get pressure there. If the Broncos want to disrupt the offense, it's going to be up to that defensive line, Domata Pe Pecco, to collapse that pocket. Because if Brady can't step into his pocket, that's when he starts to make mistakes. That's when he gets flustered, when you flush him out right, flush him out left, just flush him like a fucking turd, and you can beat him. It's hard to do, though, because uh, if any, I will say, out of all the quarterbacks, he's probably got the, the best pocket presence in terms of stepping into it, finding little places to, to make clean throws. Um, if Aaron Rodgers was healthy, you could put him in there, but Rodgers can make a throw from anywhere. Rodgers could throw off of lava. Rodgers could throw off of um uh you get my point. 
And then what do we have here? Okay, so Trevor Simeon, Brock Osweiler, haven't played well, right? Say what you want about them. At least their pregame motivational speech doesn't include sticking their hands in their mouth, licking their fingers. The only time that licking your fingers works as motivation is in fast food commercials or in a porno. Jameis Winston, I think, has lost his mind. And I guess I'll, I'll take I'll take losses with Trevor and Paxton if I don't have to see them licking their fingers to, to try to hype up the team. Uh, will Brock play better? I don't know. But now I'll, I'll try to I'll try to answer some of your questions. What about sucking toes? Okay, sucking toes. This is a good point. This is a fair, valid point. Uh, Rex Ryan has been pushing for that for years, for years. But yeah, if 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 Winston untied his cleat, pulled out his foot, and was able to put it in his mouth and saying, today we need to be flexible to get this victory. We need to bend, not break. Then, yeah, that might be that might have been effective because being able to put your foot in your mouth is, I think, a skill. It's a skill. Uh, LeVar Ball in here commenting, uh, Kaepernick to the Broncos. You know what? I would take it. I would take Colin Kaepernick. He's been to a Super Bowl. He has uh, six, four, six playoff wins. You gotta, you have to ask that question, right? John Elway is a GM. His motto is they're gonna do everything they can to uh, make the Broncos a winning team, regardless, right? Everything they can do, and. I think it's an easy argument right now to say Colin Kaepernick would be better than Trevor Simeon, that he would be better than Brock Osweiler. And once Paxton Lynch gets healthy, I would still say he is probably better than Paxton Lynch. Because in the NFL, Colin Kaepernick has shown he can be safe with the ball. Uh, he doesn't have the best throwing mechanics, but he, uh, I think, has shown to be more accurate than what we've seen of Paxton Lynch. Now, Paxton Lynch can offer some of the same things that uh, Colin Kaepernick did in terms of, you know, running with the football. Quarterback for the Broncos who takes off and gets yards with his legs would greatly help this offense right now. Now, do I think Colin Kaepernick to the Broncos will happen? No, I'm not saying that. I know I, I'm 99% sure LA would never fucking do it. But all I'm saying is he would be a better option right now. Uh, Christoph Lane blaming Mike McCoy. Uh... Again, I don't think you can put all the blame on one spot. Sure, you could say some of the play calls need to be better, but I think for every time you say that, you could say there was a player or two on the offense who wasn't executing properly. You know? Did the receiver run the best route there? Did the receiver make the catch? Did the receiver not fumble after it? Did the put, did the quarterback put the ball in the right place? Did the quarterback make the right read? The offensive did the offensive line provide protection? Did the offensive line not get a fucking penalty? That was the biggest thing. The penalties killed the Broncos on both sides of the ball. And when you have even Von Miller and Shane Ray getting multiple offsides uh, penalties, neutral neutral zone infraction penalties, it's it was just it was like I said, you got to throw away that game tape. You got to fucking burn it because you don't ever need to watch that game again if you're a player for the Broncos. Um, let's see here. How long? Oh, man, the questions are coming in too fast. I can't read them. Von Miller was offsides on a strip fumble. I don't, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Right tackle, first pick. Okay, back to what I was saying about Elway, Kaepernick. You're going to do everything to make the team better. You leave, him, you leave Kaepernick out there? I don't think you are. But, and that's debatable, you can debate that, that's fair. If you don't think Kaepernick would be uh, uh, a better quarterback in Denver, I think that's a fair argument you can make. But, the Broncos having $11 million in cap space right now, and the fact that they did not bring in uh, a veteran tackle this offseason, even after they knew they weren't going to get Tony Romo and they still had that $10, $11 million sitting there, and they don't bring in something to shore up that offensive line, you have to say, I don't think they're doing, or I don't think they did everything they could to make this team as good as it could be this season. That's a fair criticism as well. And I really like talking with this fucking pin because it makes me feel like my points are getting validated. 
PowerPoint. PowerPoint. Michael Scott. PowerPoint. Uh, what tackles are available? Right now, none. But back in the uh, offseason, there were. There were tackles available. You could have gotten uh, an Andrew Whitworth with that money hanging around. You put him at let ta left tackle. You have Ron Leary over there. And with Matt Paradis, you have a elite left side of the line. And Garrett Bowles has been all right. You could kick him out to right tackle. And I don't know. I'm just saying those are things to nitpick right now. It's easy. Hindsight's easy, right? Uh, what do? Am I saying I could do John Elway's job better than him? No. But could I do it as good as him? This season? Yes. I could get the Broncos to three and four as a general manager. Teddy Bridgewater. Would I take Teddy Bridgewater? Yes. I like Teddy Bridgewater a lot before he got hurt. He's not a flashy quarterback, Teddy, but he's a smart quarterback. And uh, I think he takes care of the football. So Teddy Bridgewater, if his leg was healthy, I would give him a shot. Andrew Luck, did, did you guys see the thing about, was it Ursay said that Andrew Luck's uh, biggest injury is in his head? Was that an actual thing that Jim Ursay said? Because if Broncos could find a way to get Andrew Luck, that would solve a lot of problems. Assuming Luck could stay healthy. He does have serious injury concerns. Kirk Cousins would be a, a, an eventual um, option as well. Alex Smith is an option. Drew Brees is an option. Um, somebody saying Baker Mayfield, depending on where the Broncos end up in the draft, is an option. I haven't watched a lot of college football. Uh, I know he threw almost 600 yards last week. But every time I saw an hi a highlight from it, and this is not watching the game, so I don't know how talented Baker Mayfield really is. He had like six, seven seconds to throw the football, and he always seemed to have a guy wide open. So I think you have to look at a guy like that when uh, protection's breaking down and when he makes tough throws in tight windows and how he reads through defenses. So that's what I would want to see if I were looking at college quarterbacks, and I'll never take the time to do that because the NFL consumes all my time. Uh, what else do we got here? We need to draft Saquon Barkley. Yeah, I don't know anything about him. Lamar Jackson could get out of pressure. Don't know. Andrew Luck, way too much Way too much money. He's a quarterback. You pay good money for a good quarterback. I mean, Paxton Lynch is going to make $2 million next year. Is that too much money? If he doesn't start? Or, I don't know. I'd pay 20 I'd let the Broncos pay $20 million for... For a pretty good quarterback right now. I think most people would too. Uh, stop asking me about co college quarterbacks. I don't watch college football, so I don't fucking know. I don't know. I wish I could answer your questions. Uh, I wish I could have an educated answer for you, but I don't watch. Machine Gun Kelly is a man. We'll see. He needs to get healthy. Knee injury, wrist injury. Really fucked him. But uh, from Old Miss, you saw Chad Kelly do some impressive things there. Uh, Dak Prescott. You're just saying quarterbacks' names now. What do we? We can't get Dak Prescott. He's not leaving Dallas. He's not leaving Dallas. Whose fault? Elway, coaching, or players? Good question. All of them. All of them. You can bring in players. They gotta play well. You can bring in new coaches. They gotta coach well. Uh, I don't know. You can coach as hard as you want, but if guys go out there and don't execute what you're coaching, you're fucked. You're screwed. That's all there is to it. Would I take Blake Bortles? No, thank you. You asked me that two years ago, I would have said yes. I would have said yes. Uh, Brady Quinn. <laughs> you, guys are just, you guys are just naming shit now. Um, somebody is coming out of the closet repeatedly. In the comments here, Von Miller on offense. I don't think that would would work right now. Um, Von is not focused on his throwing in a while. I know that for a fact. He used to have a great arm, but you know he let it go. He let his arm die. So, will I play QB? Yes, I would. I would definitely play QB. I would in a heartbeat. I'd last one game. Uh, I would something would break in my body, and I would just pray that it's not my brain. 
What else? Bernie Sanders for Q. He's too old to play quarterback, man. He's too old. Come on. RG3? I don't know. I'm not sold on RG3 as coming in as an upgrade. I watched enough of RG3. I mean, maybe. Maybe he would be better. Uh, I think... I don't know. Never been a huge RG3 fan. So... Too many penalties. Yes. Hillary... Why are, why are we talking about Bernie Sanders, Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump now? This is we're talk, we're, this is football, guys. Don't piss each other off in the comments. That's all you're going to do. You're just going to piss each other off, and that's not a good thing. It's fun to get pissed off about football because it doesn't matter. Start saying people's names. Everybody's going to get mad at each other, and then somehow it's going to be my fault, and then I'm going to look back at the comments, and then I'm going to feel bad for letting it happen. Mitchell Trubisky. He's a Chicago Bears quarterback. Stop just saying quarterbacks' fucking names. It's not doing anything. Ray Lewis should coach us. I don't know. I don't I don't think Ray Lewis would be a good coach. I think he's a little nutty. I think Ray Lewis is a little crazy. Great football player. Definitely probably killed somebody. So good at getting away with things. He should coach for the Patriots. Because he can get away with stuff like the patriots sorry clash i'm not but if i were i would try to be with you uh let's see here i think that's it have we discussed everything important today i'm i did a live video because i didn't get a game review up and i felt bad for not being able to do that i had important shit to do today a couple phone calls I met my parents for lunch because they took back the rumba they got me. The iRobot electric self-cleaning vacuum because it was broken. But now I got a new one so I don't have to vacuum anymore. It was a big day for me, all right? It was a big day. For the rest of the week, though, let's just hope. Let's hope something. Let's hope Sunday's a weird game, all right? Maybe the Broncos don't magically get better this week, but maybe they get lucky. Maybe Tom Brady plays like shit. It's a funky game where the Patriots are turning over the ball on special teams, running back fumbles, the ball is tipped for an interception, a so pick six for the Broncos defense. You know, we want all those little things to go right for the Broncos. I think that's our best chance at this point. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for coming in here, watching live. I'll give you one more minute to ask one great question. If I see one great question right now, it's going to get answered hard. Let's see here. Hmm, I'm not seeing them. I'm not seeing the great question yet. Oh, yeah, steal their playbook. If we can steal the Patriots playbook, I would be all for it. Nip slip, please. Ooh, that's... Mm, I can't get the shirt to go low enough. Uh, yes, I told you I would play quarterback. Will you... Did somebody just ask if I would bang Vance Joseph's wife? That'd be mean. And I don't think my wife would like that, man. So no. No, I would not. No, I would not. I would not do that. God. Uh, oh yeah, this is my Game of Thrones shirt. <laughs> 